welcome to PA Outdoors. Today I'm videoing a well, instructional video, step by step, how to set a dirt hole set. Uh, I chose this spot because I've seen the fox tracks up here. That's something I really want to get a fox. But I would show the camera, but I don't want to move around. But first of all, first thing you want to do is you want to dig out your trap bed. I use this tool right here. I don't use the hammer because it's a lot harder to pound in the stake. But if you don't know how big around your trap is, you can just uh, set the trap, make a circle around it, how big it is. I already went and checked all my other traps, nothing in them. I don't think I'm going to show you guys too many checks unless I get something. Alright, so next, you want to pound in your banker. I use these Wolfang anchors. How they work is they go into the ground like this, you pull up, flatten like this, you can't get them up. I could barely even get them up without a stake puller. I couldn't get them up without a stake puller. But you get the stake driver. I got all this stuff off F&P. That's probably my favorite website for doing orders. But I like to get it started with my hands if I can. When I get in here, when I get my uh, hammer. I use a little two and a half pound hammer, that works great. I say two and a half or three pounds. Good, just got this one at Harbor Freight. Uh, that's all you need, you don't need an expensive hammer for this. the easiest I've ever had one go in. I don't know if you guys can see all this or not. I should check. Yeah, I don't think you can. I'll just adjust this real quick. Right there would be good. Just don't know how to get it up. I don't have a tripod right now. I'm just trying to rest on the quad. Right there is good. All right, just go hope it doesn't fall. But yeah, this is a soft, some of the softer ground. So the harder the ground, the let. Oh. All right, that was good. But anyways, the harder the ground, the less you gotta push it down in. Softer. The more, I try to get in the whole way, no matter what, though.
gonna be. Okay, so that wasn't bad. All right, so right now I'm just gonna get the under all over with that under there. So that way, there's no dirt, you know, going under that trap pan so it won't go off. I know we've already done a video like this. It just wasn't the best video. What I've done so far, I've got the trap in there, bedded in and everything. So it's going to be a short video today. I think it's the cold that's killing my battery. My phone was at 60 when I started. I've been filming for about 10 minutes, already at 10. So, if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna have to find a different video for today. Or just maybe move, don't do a video today, because. Right. This is more of a flat dirt hole set. Checking the camera a lot now. That was a good, good couple minutes before too. All right, so after you got that dry dirt sifted on, after you got your dry dirt sifted on, you want to get some of this natural colored dirt. Looks good. So now I'm gonna make my dirt hole. I'm trying to make it a little bit rough now. I don't want to lose uh, video. My phone's probably gonna be dying soon. Does die. Uh, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna put the bait in after this hole is dug. Bait shoots wool lure and the set's done. But in case the set the trap oh uh, camera dies. Alright, still filming. Gonna switch your gloves. I think with the scent, it's more of, you don't want the bait scent to get on the trap. It's, I don't see why it matters the trap scent got with the bait, you know? All right. You and done lap rage. Gotta find a stick here. Oh no, that's not a stick. Alright. This stuff stinks. Now you're too full. Forgot to tell you also your fox pee. I use red fox pee because if you use coyote pee, the uh, fox, you won't catch a fox because they'll get scared away from it. This is a time when I wish I didn't have so many background this. Yeah, I decided to do another video on this because 
last time it wasn't very informative because we used to just cut to everything. But this time with the bait, I'm gonna try I'm gonna put it a lot higher up in the air so the wind can catch it. There's a tree up here with a little wood sticking out. I'm just gonna put in a couple of them. All right, then after that, you wanna get your red fox piece, put it right here, it's around here. And then that's your set. I'm gonna get everything put away after I stop the recording. Put a... But anyways, thanks for watching PA Outdoors. See you on the next video. Hit like, subscribe to all our other videos while you're at it too. Thanks for watching.